Good morning, YouTube. It is 5.58 in the morning. Uh, today's topic is uh, sonic black holes. Way too early. Or that Higgs protosomes bathe the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors radiation are mathematic a solution asteroid what am i doing up um so <laughs> everyone's heard of a black hole because we've talked about it forever in a day um what is a black hole a black hole is something that has uh it's so massive it has gravity that is so strong that it pulls everything towards it uh, any object coming close to it, as well as light. Um, when you get close enough to it, light is not powerful enough to 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 get away from its from a black hole's gravitational pull. Because it's pulling in light, we can't really see it. Therefore, we call it black. Um, so uh, that you know that has to do with gravity and mass and electricity. What is a sonic black hole? So the, a sonic black hole is, is one that replicates a normal black hole only with sound. Uh, if you imagine, um, the, the example that they give is, uh, let's say that uh, some animal is um, in a river and it goes over a waterfall uh, and it starts screaming. <laughs> uh, poor guy. Um, like a bird or something okay let's use an example of a bird that uh is tired and can't fly away just yet um and as as the bird starts screaming or hollering or or whatever it's doing and it goes over the edge of the, of the waterfall there comes a point where the sound from the bird doesn't reach you let's say you're on the coast because it's too far over in the waterfall and the sound is taking it you know, is being taken away too. I guess that's the analogy. Um, and, and so the reason why this comes up is because scientists in the past have been able to make a correlation between the two mathematically, which I'm not sure how they did that, uh, but you know, it, it, it's kind of interesting. It, if you can, if you can, why it's useful, if you can create a, a sonic lab, black hole in a lab, and if they match, then you can uh, observe things with a sonic black hole that you can't necessarily observe with a regular black hole. Uh, and again, if they match, then you can make sort of um, explorations and uh, find things out that you wouldn't be able to because it's just not possible to go observe a, a regular black hole fairly closely. Um, so they, they've done this in a lab. They've recreated a, a sonic black hole finally. Um, and they do that by using a, a, a Bose-Einstein condensate. We, we've talked about that in the past. Uh, you take iridium atoms and you, you cool them down super cold. Uh, and it takes on uh, a state that uh, it's useful for doing um, quantum uh quantum experiments. Uh, it's also useful for trapping light. Back in episodes we've talked about trapping light and slowing down light and reversing light. They use a Bose-Einstein condensate for that. Well, if you take that condensate and then you pump it with lasers, uh, I guess in a certain pattern you can replicate a sonic black hole and then you can start producing uh, sound waves in there, observe what goes on, and I guess the behavior is fairly close to a regular black hole. You'll have a you have a um, you'll have a certain distance from the source where if you're inside that distance, uh, you get sucked into the center. If you're outside that distance, you get to escape. That's a, the event horizon. Um, they've been able to replicate that, and they've been I guess they've been able to replicate uh, a couple other things. And so now they're doing experimentation on this sonic black hole. <clears throat> Again, because they're thinking that it can resemble a regular black hole, and maybe they can find certain things out. Um, you know, with black holes, we have a lot of theories that uh, are sort of disrupting the way we understand the universe. Uh, the information paradox theory, uh, even even the idea of a singularity, uh, a point in space and time that you know just doesn't behave the way we think it behaves. Um, 
because it, you know, A is so massive, B the gravity is is so uh, asymptotically high, and you know, we just don't understand what's going on in the center there. Um, and so, if we can observe the sonic black hole, maybe we can understand better uh, what's going on. Um, uh, you know, the, the first thing, if it works, then that's great. If the correlations are there, then that's great. I mean, we, we've done experimentation by correlation with other things as well. Um, sometimes it works for us, and sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's cool to, it's fun to dive into this and, and see what, um, what we discover. I just, I don't know how well the correlations are, and and whether it'll solve our biggest mysteries of the universe. Um, you know, some people are looking at this as, oh, this is the path forward to figure out uh, how to combine quantum and relativity, and so we'll have this universal law of physics, and and sonic sonic black holes are the way. We don't know that the, it's the way. Um, <laughs> you know, again, it's another road to go down and investigate and, and do research and see what our findings are. If they correlate, then great. If they don't, then well, it's still it's still fun research. Um, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, uh, I gotta head off to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. <laughs> uh, we'll talk to you next time.